Paul Verhoeven comes from being a what they call a, a battle rat. He was raised in, in Belgium and France so like during the Second World War. For for fun, he used to go up with a hammer, put his foot on shells and hit them and fire eighty eight tank shells across them. You know, he played in a war in a war zone. Okay. Right? So for him to do a right wing, Heinlein was a super fascist. Okay. The guy who wrote you know, Starship Troopers. He believed that you shouldn't be allowed to vote unless you're willing to die for your country. He was a fucking right-wing idiot. So when Paul Verhoeven said he was going to do Starship Troopers, I said to Paul, why are you doing this? And he said, what, you're questioning me? And I said, yeah, because we'd already done Total Recall. He said, if I told America and all of Europe that their way of doing things is unnurturing, mm -hmm. he says, they'll think I'm on a soapbox and they won't listen to me, so I'm going to give them a perfect fascist world. But it's only good for killing bugs. That's a political statement, that film. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It was meant to be tongue-in-cheek. So it's not about gore. No, well, It's about being over, politically over the top. You want to know about killing people? You want to know more? The little children holding guns on those ad campaigns in the middle of the movie? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely satire over the top. Now, the problem was most press and most people that were doing it aren't educated. I had people coming up to me during the press tour for, for Starship Troopers saying, how did you feel getting on a film that is so fascist? And I went, do you know who the fuck you're talking about? Do you know who the director is? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It was like, anyway, so I'm a little reactive, as you can tell. Yeah, I saw. How do I but feel about the gore? The gore was over the top on purpose. Yeah, let's, yeah, of course. You remember when, what's his name, walks up and puts his hand, Doogie Towser goes up and puts his hand on the thing and goes, it's frightened, and everyone cheers. You know what I mean? That was over the top. Mm -hmm. Paul actually thinks he didn't go far enough. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know? Okay. He was offered Matt Damon as the lead, and he chose not to go with Matt because he had just, I think, done Goodwill Hunting. They wanted two or three million dollars for him. And he said, I think I'd rather put the money in the film. I don't think this film needs a lead. And it's the only time I've ever heard Paul um, actually admit that he might have made a mistake. He said, you know, Casper is what he is. You know, he's... Maybe we... This film is so big and so crazy mm -hmm. with its theme, we could have used an anchor, a lead that was... Mm -hmm. so.